how does Grammarly work in Windows laptop? Then we are going to show you the practical demonstration that how would you download, install and how would you use the Grammarly in your Windows laptop? Is it free to use? What all are the applications with which the Grammarly would integrate and can you use it offline? If you want to know the answer to all these questions, then keep on watching. Now, right on the Grammarly homepage, you would see that uh, the Grammarly for Windows is all-in-one writing assistant that works on your laptop or desktop and as well as on your browser. It can be integrated with many apps, including the word processors, email and clients. Rather, so let me clarify you that once you download the Grammarly app for your laptop, it will work on every app. Just imagine that you have a keyboard or a mouse which you can use in every app whether it is a PowerPoint, Outlook, Microsoft Word or your browser, email. Similarly, once this app is installed, it works in the background and whatever the interface is uh, on on your laptop, you would be able to use it. So finding the link for Grammarly for Windows is a little tricky. That is why I have given a link. Uh, in the description of this video, just go on to the description, click the first link which should be there in the first few lines. Once you will click that link, it will take you to this page. Uh, here on this page, you would see uh, the Grammarly free install, but this is a extension for your browsers. For the Grammarly for Windows, you need to come down and then click on this Grammarly for Windows. Once you will click that, you will reach this page which is Grammarly for Windows and from here you need to click this get Grammarly it's free. So first of all it will ask you to create an account in case you are not using the Grammarly earlier in your browser or Grammarly app in your Android or uh, iPhone so you need to create an account. You can sign up with Google, Facebook or Apple ID so I'm just going to do it with my Google ID. So just enter the email uh, address and the password or uh, if you are already signed in with uh, uh, these Google, Facebook or Apple IDs, you can uh, sign in by just doing the one click. So and once you have signed up, it will take you to the Grammarly editors page where you can open a new document and start to uh, write or edit within your browser. How would you use you? Since this tutorial is only focusing on how would you use the Grammarly for your Windows so for that you need to click this apps and uh, in the next page right on the top you will see that Grammarly for Windows so you can uh, click here to install in my case since I have already installed so it is asking me to reinstall so for the sake of demonstration I am just going to click reinstall so it is it will start to download the application so we will wait for the application to download which is just 14 MBs depending upon the uh, speed of your internet it will take uh, a minute or so so once you are done you can click on this our installation process would start so once the uh, Grammarly for Windows is installed you will get this first screen where it will uh, remind you to sign in uh, into your account so if you already have an account you need to click this otherwise you can create a free account since we have just created an account so we will click sign in existing account and we will continue to Grammarly. So we'll click open Grammarly. So now we are almost there. So it is uh, in the next screen. You need to just read these uh, guidelines and just keep on clicking next, next, next. Here it will ask you to upgrade on to premium. But since we are just starting, we can continue for free. In the free version, you will get the grammar, spelling, readability and conciseness suggestions, whereas in the premium version in addition to everything that is available in free you will get the tone adjustment plagiarism detection word choice formality level and fluency so we'll continue with free and we'll click start using grammarly so then it will open the uh, the demo document within the grammarly editor and while i have already shown you that how it is going to uh, give you the spelling grammar and punctuation errors uh, in case uh, the underline is red which means that those suggestions uh, are free uh, in cases where the underline um, observations are in uh, yellow color these are for the premium version use the free version for some time and if you like this you can uh, go and join the premium version in addition to that 
uh, you within this Grammarly you can click on this goal adjustment and here you can um, adjust the uh, <coughs> level of your audience whether the, your audience is knowledgeable uh, expert or the, it is a journal or audience you can also select the formality level uh, between informal neutral and formal so uh, you can also select this uh, domain depending upon the type of a writing whether it is a business writing academic writing or uh, the uh, casual writing so you can uh, select these uh, things over here also and at the end you can also select the intent whether you want to inform the audience whether the purpose of writing is to describe something convince them or to tell them a story so by selecting these things uh, you can uh, change all these options and then click done by the way this domain option as you can see here is written go premium so this option is not free while audience formality and intent you can select within the free version and uh, which means that if you want to use grammarly for the academic or business writing you will have to buy a premium only then you can get the maximum out of the grammarly however for the free version it will give you all these suggestions so you can click done and so depending upon the quality of your writing the Grammarly will also give you an overall score that so what is your performance uh, in terms of writing as you can see here in this sample document the text score is 87 out of 100 this score represents the quality of writing in this document you can increase it by addressing the grammarly suggestions apart from that the details related to the word count uh, how many characters words sentences uh, what is the reading time and what is the speaking time um, for this uh, text and other than that uh, in within the readability it is going to grade you uh, your word length sentence length and readability score so the purpose of this uh, grading or score they have explained it here that your text is likely to be understood by a reader who has at least ninth grade education uh, which is age 15 so aim of the score of at least 60 to 70 would ensure that your text is easily readable by 80% of the English speakers. So up in addition to that, it is going to compare your matrix with the other Grammarly users and would tell you that how many unique words that you have used and what are the rare words that you have used in your text. So you can download this report as PDF also. So once the Grammarly is installed in your laptop, you will get this icon um, in your notification uh, bar. You can right click on the Grammarly icon, click on the settings and here you can change the American English to British, Australian or Canadian and you can also uh, select few options like you whether you want to um, launch this at the startup and uh, detect tone in my writings it you need to whether you want to keep it on or off similarly writing style you can click manage and here uh, you will get the additional details so right now as you can see that I am uh, within my Microsoft Word I have written a sentence in the Microsoft Word and I have intentionally made few mistakes just to show you that how is the Grammarly would work on your laptop right at the bottom there is an icon uh, it will have a Grammarly icon but once you will make some mistakes it will show you the number of mistakes that are there in your document and it will also underline those words like here it is saying that I need to correct my spelling of start so you don't need to do a right click you just need to hover your mouse on to the underlined word and where if you want to accept this suggestion just click on that otherwise you can click dismiss uh, the other option is that you can click on this icon it will open a pop-up window and here you will have these cards where it will show you the mistakes like here it is saying that grammarly should check instead of checks so i am going to accept this mistake so it is going to correct that so now all the mistakes are done so this punctuation option is is right now it is saying it is not available in the free version so if i need to correct my punctuation errors i need to go and buy this premium version so in the free version you can see that the grammarly in your desktop would 
check you for the correctness clarity engagement and delivery if you're serious about writing if you want to use this grammarly for the academic or business writing and uh, if you don't want to get embarrassed uh, in uh, your uh, assignments or thesis if you're a student i would recommend you to uh, buy the grammarly premium version the grammarly offers the two paid versions premium for individuals and team business for teams since you most likely are indi an individual i would recommend you to buy this premium version which costs 12 dollars a month and you can buy it for 144 dollars a year uh, if you want to buy this uh, i have uh, made another video which i will put it in the end screen card uh, you can uh, watch that video in which i have explained that how can you buy this grammarly premium